Hey, I'm Church of Caboose, and in this Destiny 2 video, we're going to talk about season rank and how to rank up. This video topic was requested by a loyal subscriber of mine named Nebula Breeze, so this one is for you, my man. Speaking of which, if any of you guys have any topics you would like me to cover, whether it's Destiny 2, video game, or perhaps even life-related, just want some opinions, uh, comment down below, and uh, we'll see kind of what happens with all of uh, that. But uh, once again, this is my Titan, full of all the gear and uh, everything you get from the season ranks and that's really beneficial to rank up in season ranks because you can make your character look uber pretty and get some pretty cool guns now the best way to rank up your season rank with xp is make sure you get tons and tons of bounties but only some bounties give you tons of experience and are worth doing. So we're gonna talk about the ones that you should be really grinding out trying to do. For the first one, while the dawning is left, we have about a week or so left of the dawning. I believe it ends on January 14th. Make sure you're grabbing as many dawning ba duty bounties as you possibly can. Uh, you also have the option of grabbing additional bounties. So you have your base four or five, plus your two weeklies, do all those. Then you can grab an infinite number of additional bounties and these all reward double XP. The trick with the additional bounties is you have to bake materials specific for this event and deliver them to whatever it is says deliver them to. Then you have bounties from Saint 14. These bounties do not have double XP, but they seem to grant more experience than other bounties besides Eva Levante. So make sure you're grabbing your bounties from Saint 14. You can only get four. You can only get four. So, and then you've got Commander Zavala. He is the strike guy, so do lots of strikes. Strikes give you XP, and you have lots of bounties. You've got your two weeklies, your four or five dailies, and then you can grab an infinite number of the additional bounties. So you can grind out strikes pretty much for days nonstop and be able to gain lots of uh, experience towards your season rank. The same thing applies with our next friend that will be popping up here soon, Lord Shax. He is the Crucible guy. So make sure you're grabbing all the bounties you can from Lord Shaxx. Same thing applies with the additional bounties. Um, you can grab things from the Drifter, but he's not very beneficial. What is more beneficial than the Drifter is Hawthorne. So if you're in a clan, try to clan up, do a raid, do whatever those clan bounties are. They tend to award more experience since there's only three of them a week and require more participation than other vendors' bounties do. But again, Eva Levante, until she goes away, is your best option. The Drifter, you can do bounties, and completing Gambit matches will give you some progress, but for whatever reason, it does not appear that completing and turning in Drifter bounties does anything for your season rank, because it didn't when I was turning in those Drifter bounties. That lastly, go get, check out Ada 1. Um, unless you like doing forges and you're confident in your group, you don't need to be grabbing all the bounties, just grab ones that are like get kills with a little shotgun or power weapons. Things that are pretty generic that you can work on while doing these other stuff because it just gives you more XP. So those are all the vendors you can grab bounties from. And so we're gonna talk about what you guys should be doing specifically from those vendors. Make sure you guys are grinding the crap out of Eva Vante. All of her bounties are double XP and give you Bright Dust. So you can use that Bright Dust to buy different cosmetics and stuff from Eververse instead of being tempted to use real money. And the double XP will help you rank up really, really fast. And the higher in season rank you get, you get additional uh, buffs up to 32% on your top of whatever XP that bounty gives you. So the faster you rank up and take advantage of even Levante, even if you can't hit rank 100 before she leaves in a week, it will help you out with all your other bounties because ideally you will have hit a rank high enough where you have at least some sort of uh, XP buff on top of whatever it is that you're turning in. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know down below and I'll try to explain more in a direct message to you. Uh, so make sure you're grinding out all the Eva Levante stuff you possibly can. Part of that would be to master work your oven so that way it takes less resources so it's a little easier for you to make all those goodies and deliver them around the solar system. If you're not sure about what the recipes there are left for you to do and what you need to do what in order to master work your oven, there's plenty of articles you can Google. I do happen to have a video on my channel where I put a link to one of those articles so go ahead and find that in my channel and uh, I will try to remember to put that in the description box down below.
All right, so once the U Avant is gone, what should you guys be working on? Because there is only a week left, so perhaps you're watching this video a week after she has left, so there's no more Eva Avante. Well, basically, I would highly, highly suggest doing tons and tons of strikes in Crucible. Crucible is probably going to be more gratifying than strikes because after you complete a crucible match you will see the experience applied to your season rank whereas when you complete a strike you do not get a little progress bar update on your on your season rank so it's a little more gratifying to play a crucible match also the crucible matches can be a lot faster than heroic strikes particularly if you're on a week like this week where mayhem is a thing mayhem Rounds of Crucible take less than five minutes. If it takes five minutes, you are in an abnormally long match. Usually it's more like three to four. So you can crank out a ton, a ton of those matches, and now, which will also help you out coincidentally, um, the farm resources for EVA, but you will get matches done, which will help you to rank up XP. And like Zavala from the Vanguard, you can get an infinite number of daily bounties from Lord Shacks for a Crucible. So you can go to Lord Shacks, pick up all the bounties you can, the two weeklies, the dailies, and then just pick up whatever else you can from additional bounties. Then as you turn in bounties, every once in a while, just go up back to the tower, clear out your Postmaster, and uh, grab some more bounties. You probably can get about four or five at a time. And as you rank up, you potentially can grab more. Some of it's limited upon how many quests you have active and how many bounties you have active. Then Savala would probably be my third favorite way, or if we're not counting Eva, my second favorite way to rank up. The heroic strikes do not take very long to complete. The average is probably around 15 minutes or so. It kind of depends upon your fire team and your own abilities and what you're working on. But on top of those strikes you can complete, you also have all those bounties, which are basically infinite. So you just grab the bounties, look and see what kinds of stuff you have to do, do those stuff. And then after a couple of runs, go back to Zavala, grab more bounties and just keep cycling that over and over and you will rank up fairly efficiently as opposed to just you know kind of playing without a rhyme or a reason this video by the way if i haven't said this already is geared towards assuming you're focusing on leveling up your your player your caesar wink as opposed to anything else so this is assuming you did the cage you're like hey i want to hit rank 100 that's what i care about so this is what this video is assuming the other way I would suggest trying to level up your season rank would be to do dungeons and raids. It doesn't necessarily matter what raid, if you do the Garden of Salvation raid, you will get Pinnacle Gear. But if you do other raids, it will give you experience as well as, you know, maybe you can complete some bounties when you're in the raids. But Garden of Salvation will give you the powerful reward gear as well as giving you that experience. The dungeon is not a bad way to go. In fact, it's probably better than doing Garden of Salvation because depending upon you and and like your friends and your own power and whatnot, it might be a little bit difficult to get a group of six that can relatively quickly complete the raid so that way you're just not wasting a lot of time doing the raid that you could be spending doing heroic strikes. I would say if you can get a group that can do the raid in about an hour, that's probably pretty good and it's worth your time. And in a dungeon, you should really realistically only need about 30, maybe 40 minutes and that's not a bad way to get experience either because you do have four encounters. You got Mm, the you guys see here, I think I loud. So you got the first one, which is unlocking the dungeon, then you got the whole little ogre maze, and you got the third deal, locking yourself. You, four, you got five encounters inside the dungeon, each one gives you XP. So that's how I would suggest you guys tackle getting your season rank up. First and foremost, grab all the bounties you possibly can. I would suggest you ignore the drifter. I'm not entirely sure as to why, but when I turned in drifter bounties, they did not increase my season rank. Nothing popped up in the progress bar saying, you know, rank has been added or anything like that, uh, like it does when you turn in bounties for pretty much anything else. And since you don't see the progress bar go up when you complete a Gambit's match, I cannot say definitely that playing Gambit's and completing those bounties will actually increase your rank. It probably does for completing the activities, but the bounties don't, and so that's really weird since there's tons and tons of Gambit Drifter related bounties. So make sure you grab all the other bounties, do the ones you can, and then just kind of a quick little recap. First and foremost, I would suggest doing Crucible, and then Strikes are a second good option. That would include Nightfalls. Then the third best option is probably the Dungeon. The fourth one is doing the raid, the new raid, Garden of Salvation. All right, guys, I hope this uh, video helps you all out with trying to level up your season ranks and getting all those cosmetics. We do have... Oh, probably right around two months until this season expires. Just check out 
the time remaining on your season rank pass thing when you're looking at it, and it'll tell you exactly how much time is left till the season of the dawn ends. All right, I will plan on putting out another video. Uh, this one will probably be about completing the Vanguard little new emblem thing that is part of the seal title deal for the season of the dawn called uh, the savior so keep an eye out for that if you appreciate this video i would love it if you hit the like button if you want to subscribe to my channel that'd be great i also cover modern warfare not just uh destiny 2 recently i've started doing more of a serious thing where i compare different aspects of call of duty and destiny 2 together thank you guys all so much for watching i am church of caboose have a great week and happy garden y'all